Hi, this is Ken Garver with Sunlight Supply. I'm here today to discuss the High Performance Made in the USA DE Boss Reflector. This reflector is made specifically for the double-ended high pressure sodium lamp. Before we get to the attributes of the DE Boss, I want to take a minute to explain the purpose of our sun system reflectors. Our primary goal is to maximize the lamp energy for the highest amount of light on target with consideration to an elimination of hot spots and light striations. When properly engineered, this will result in an even and uniform light plane across your growing environment. This is done with the optical design of the hood, the materials used, and the intensity and size of your light source. When an HID lamp is located within the body of the reflector in a horizontal position, as the DE lamp is, you are getting approximately 35 to 40 percent of the lamp's generated light being projected directly down onto your growing area. The remaining 60 to 65 percent of the lamp's incidental rays must reflect and exit the enclosure. So optimum lamp performance will greatly depend on the optical design of the hood, the quality and efficiency, and physical pattern of the reflective materials used. Structural integrity is very important. We start with a galvanized steel body that is punched, formed, and riveted. This goes through a zirconium cleaning bath before electrostatically applied polyester powder paint is robotically applied for an even thickness, then cured at 400 degrees in an infrared oven. With our premium performance made in the USA reflectors like the DE Boss, we incorporate the highest reflective material possible. This is critical in maximizing the efficiency of the system as a whole. Let me explain why. There are roughly three grades of reflective aluminum being used in the vast majority of reflectors being sold in today's market. The lowest grade is a base aluminum that is mechanically polished and allowed to naturally oxidize, which occurs when non-treated aluminum is exposed to the oxygen in the air. This is referred to as the passivation layer, or native oxide. Heating and cooling of this raw material is a catalyst for further oxidation, which obviously occurs when the lamp is operated and then shut down. This results in an uneven thickness of the oxide layer as it changes over time. This naturally occurring unstoppable process greatly affects the reflective properties of the material, especially in the lower UVA wavelengths, which can be critical to the plant's growth response. The oxidized alumina typically measures total light reflectance in the very low 70 to 74% range. We do not use this material in any of our hoods, but this low grade product is most often found in cheap Chinese produced reflectors. There is a mid-grade aluminum that is anodized. This is the most common material used. Anodizing the aluminum adds a protective layer to prevent the negative effects of the previously mentioned oxidization. Anodized aluminum is very hardy, long-lasting, highly reflective material, typically measuring in the 80 to 87% total light reflectance. However, this isn't near the target we have in mind. The highest grade material is known as PVD aluminum. This stands for physical vapor deposition which is really a high temperature vacuum evaporation process used to deposit a thin layer of highly reflective 99.9% .9 pure aluminum on the base aluminum structure. The material is then anodized and finally top coated with a very highly reflective silica, glass. This results in a very strong hard surface coating resulting in an incredibly efficient reflective aluminum material rated at 95% total light reflectance. Matter of fact, the producers of the PVD aluminum warranty the product for a full 25 years. There's also a new material being used, which we have incorporated into the DE Boss and a few other sun system reflectors that has a thin layer of pure silver PVD, which is currently the highest reflectance material available, rated at 98%. As you can see, we've incorporated both the 95% and 98% materials into the high performance DE Boss optics. Now it's not just the reflective percentages that we're concerned with. We must look at the spectral wavelength the reflectivity is happening at. As you see on this chart, the low grade Chinese oxide material has very poor reflective properties in certain spectral ranges. The anodized aluminum material has a wavy, inconsistent pattern with peaks and valleys across the spectral wavelengths. Then we have the PVD material with a very even reflectance across the full spectral range. Ideally, an even and uniform reflectivity scale with regards to the nanometer wavelength is what we're after. When I refer to reflectance, it's important to note if the light is not reflected, its energy is absorbed in the form of heat. So a lower reflectance hood will absorb and then radiate more heat into your growing environment 
than a highly efficient, highly reflective hood that will direct more light onto your target garden. This reflector has been designed to create an ideal 4x4 coverage for very high intensity PAR levels, but can be used with great effect at higher mounting heights to increase your coverage. Again, our goal is to maximize the efficiency of the lamp's energy so a properly designed reflector will allow us to cover more area at the desired intensity levels. The DE Boss can be used as a standalone reflector or raised much higher in conjunction with several hoods for increased light penetration and a crossover pattern. There are many reflectors available today for a variety of indoor lighting and gardening needs. I hope you found this video informative and valuable when determining which products will work best for you. Thank you for supporting Sunlight Supply. Thank you.